Well, hello! Hi and welcome back to the Barnum Clay channel. So today, I'm going to show you how to cover a money box. Now I haven't got any before pictures of this money box because if you remember I said I was doing something that went horribly wrong. Well, this was the horribly wrong project. And not only did it go horribly wrong once, that's terrible to say, it went horribly wrong twice. <laughs> so uh, this is my third attempt, which is why you're not getting three things, because effectively it is still three. You just haven't seen them all this time. So anyway, on to covering a money box with Panama Clay. Here we go.
thanks for watching the tutorial so tell me in the comments what you thought of that i thought it was quite cool but this was my third attempt so i'm kind of glad to get rid of it to be honest the original attempt uh, the money box did look quite cool but as you would have seen from the start of this tutorial it looked kind of battered and that is the reason because i had to bake it then i had to scrape it all off and start again because it just wasn't working out and that is why you saw a mess <laughs> however it's looking quite nice now i have to say so I'm going to show you what it looks like. So I've got them in two halves because I don't know. I've just got them in two halves. So I'm going to show you how they are. So this is the bottom. Um, so I'm going to show you on, all the way around first. To be honest, this one's fairly simple. There isn't really much to this. I stamped it. Then I put some logs on um, and then uh, stamped those as well. And then put some little balls on. You do not want to know how long these took. So I think... This one here, I remembered filming for half an hour just to put these balls on, to roll them and put them on. So I'm guessing two, if you know, if we're because I didn't film this side, I was like, oh, no one wants to see that. So you'd have seen it really high speed, but just so you know, that took half hour. <laughs> um so yeah but I, I enjoy it it's therapeutic for this side I just literally put some show on and didn't film and just put them on and then promptly went to bed after because yeah it's it's kind of labor intensive this one um but anyway they look very similar um so I'm just going to come out of shot so you can have a quick look and obviously because they're a top and a bottom they look exactly the same or near as damn it so I'm going to put them together now so obviously this is the inside um, and it's got a half, you just put it together, I haven't done this yet, so I'm doing this on camera, that's a bit silly isn't it? Hold on a minute, hold on, oh that's good news, that's good news. So I put them all together and there it is. So here we go, this is what it looks like together. Now you'll notice it's got a kind of rounded look to it here. Now it is like that because obviously the I couldn't get it right the way smooth all the way across. And now thinking about it, I probably could have covered it all together and cut it after. I don't know how I come up with things like this. When I'm actually doing the show and tell, telling you how to do it, I'm thinking I could have done it better. But anyway, if you're not me, you could cover the whole thing as a whole and then trim it around the centre so then you could undo it when it was baked. Um, but I did it this way and this is the way I have experienced it. So as you can see the lines don't match up and the reason why they don't match up is because I didn't want them to. And they go all the way across here around the bottom which I thought was really cool. And then all the way across the top there. And it's just a really really nice design where it doesn't really matter. You know I was just, I was just stamping wherever I felt like it. I didn't care that it overlapped, I wasn't really bothered, you know, as long as it got some texture in, so the texture and stuff like that wasn't really fussed about how it looked, I just knew I didn't want it how it was originally. So this is how you cover a money box for the third time lucky in polymer clay. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. I thought it was quite cool, but to be honest, by the time of this, this was blah, 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 blah. So I will forward all the, blah, 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 blah. so what I will have forwarded, forwarded? I haven't, so I haven't put them together, blah, 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 blah. right, let's do that again. This is going to be something that I put together and never, ever take apart, regardless of how much money's in it, because I'm too frightened of breaking it. Thanks for watching the tutorial. <laughs> not quite what happened there. It has no bottom. I've gone and put this bit here which means now when you put it down it's wobbly oh no it's not oh yes it is because i covered up a dent completely come on see no dent see you later bye